Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, can I get you something? Uh, no thanks, I'm not drinking. Why not? Oh, don't get me wrong, I love a drink. Drinking to me means celebrating life and giving myself a little treat and champagne is my favourite. I think you'd find it's sparkling wine. Um, authentic champagne comes from the Champagne region in France. So imagine my distress when I started to develop a bunch of really weird symptoms whenever I drank alcohol. Immediate splitting headache, bright red face, rapid heartbeat. Turns out, I'd become allergic to wine. Over the years I'd consumed so much alcohol that my body was just saying, stop, enough, I can't take it anymore. Are you trying to say that everyone who drinks alcohol is unhealthy? No, I'm not. I'm one of them. All I'm doing is providing an alternative perspective on alcohol and drinking culture. Now you can either agree with me or mentally glass me like the low-down dog I am. Here we go. In Australia, drinking has become so normalised that when we make the decision not to drink, suddenly we're the weird kid in the playground that no one wants to sit next to. And when you say you're not drinking, people very rarely accept that at face value. You need to have a reason, like detoxing or being on antibiotics or being pregnant. So people will stop interrogating you like a cop trying to get a confession out of a murder suspect. And even then, even with your explanation, they're likely to ask... What are you doing out there? As if your whole reason for being out was to get completely ratchet. And if you weren't planning on doing that, you may as well have stayed in your boring house. Sometimes I just wish I could be honest and give people the real reasons I'm choosing not to drink. I prefer you didn't. It's gonna kill my buzz. Reason one. Alcohol often contains a lot of sugar, and too much sugar in your diet can mean a risk of weight gain, developing diabetes, and heart disease. It's addictive. We tend not to think about the time we drank so much that we puked in the sink, but we do think about the initial good time buzz, and that's what keeps us coming back for more until we puke in the sink again. Many people think that alcohol helps them relieve stress, but it actually makes it worse. Initially, one drink might make me feel relaxed, but if I keep going, my dopamine levels will get depleted, I'll get anxious, and I'll try and remedy that with, you guessed it, a drink. If I drink in the evenings, I'm less likely to sleep well, eat well, and exercise the next day. So all that sugar is going nowhere. And then I'm gonna feel bad that I didn't prioritize my health. So I'm gonna have another drink to feel not so bad about the situation. And here we go again. My inhibitions would be lowered and I might end up doing something I regret, like going home with you and I don't even know your name. It's Dennis. That's irrelevant. Look, I feel like you're trying to ruin alcohol for me. Like, why are you trying to shame me for drinking? I'm not trying to do that, I promise. I just don't think we're given the full story. And it's not our fault. See, advertisers try and make us believe that alcohol makes us fun, makes us sexy, makes us stylish, brings the party, while a lot of the problems with alcohol, they're never mentioned. I guess what I'm trying to say is, think of it like this date. Instead of thinking about whether or not you should be here, think about why you're here. And then you might realise it's not something you need after all. You know what? You are absolutely right. Cheers to that. Oh, I'm not drinking. That's right.